Hey, I'm Josh Foster from Hastings Boys High School, Hawke's Bay, and I play for Mary St. Pat's. My name's uh, Fatsolu Fili. Uh, I attended St. Patrick's College uh, just here behind me, and um, I play for Mary St. Pat's. Hi, I'm Andrew Wells. I went to Wellington College, and I play for Mary St. Pat's. I'm Cameron, um, I went to St. Patrick's College and I now play rugby for the um, Marist St. Pat's social team, the, uh, the Internationals. Hey guys, my name's Tony Fafili. I went to De La Salle College and Manuel High School up in Auckland and I play for Marist St. Pat's. G'day, I'm Ross Bond, I'm the Premier Coach of Marist St. Pat's, heading into my third season and hopefully a successful one. I went to Rongatai College, you might want to ask why I'm at Marist, well I can tell you, because the support, the players, the structure and we win things. Well, I've just played with really experienced guys. Um, played, they've all played at quite a high level, and then yeah, first year out of school, coming straight here, won the Jubilee Cup, and it's just a really professional environment. It's really, really good to play in. It's pretty sweet playing with professional players, and they're pretty keen to help out and develop my game as well. I've learned a lot from from some of the younger guys growing up, and uh, playing alongside them as well. So it's good to see them uh, express themselves and come together. No matter what school you come from, like, I was a bit nervous coming here from Wellington College. It's not like the natural selection, but everyone just comes together, and it's it's really kind of like a brotherhood environment. It's really good. Just that it's not just the premier team. It's about the the structure of the club. It's about bringing your, the Colts players through, it's about the senior twos, senior ones and prems all working together and that gives everyone an opportunity. So I actually started playing for Marist about 15-16 oh, years ago for 8080s um, and that's when I found out that Marist wasn't a one team club, it's uh, it's really inclusive. I was, I was looking forward to uh, you know lacing the boots up and uh, you know getting amongst uh, you know all these guys uh, you know just helping them out you know in any way I can. We've got All Blacks and Jeff Jeff Tumunga Allen and Victor Vito, we've got Wellington Sevens players and Ryan Setafano, Isaac O'Connor, he's in another 20s player, Matt Penny, so a whole lot of guys that you can learn of. It's not just the Premier coaches, it's uh, the old fellas, Kevin Horan and uh, ex-players Trent Eagle and, and Norm Broaden, Isaac Fernandi um, jumping on board as well. The amount of success that we've had goes back to the amount of time that uh, players, ex-players put into to the teams. I like to think that uh, Mount St Pat's has one of the best training facilities around and, and that is our green room that uh, we have which is the artificial pitch with a scrum machine and we do we do a lot of drills in there uh, during the season as well. The ability to go out onto the St Pat's artificial turf and in the last couple of years we've managed to train outside when many of these teams around Wellington haven't managed to get outside. In any sort of weather we're able to get out there and, and do what we have to. And of course Evans Bay Park was just relayed last year and provides one of the best surfaces in Wellington. In the past 10 years I think uh, we've been the most successful club uh, and that, I guess that comes with how much work we do off the field translates to what we're able to do on the field as a team and as a club. And I've represented uh, both my countries in rugby league and rugby, uh, the Kiwis and Samoa, the Manu. And as an organisation uh, coming into Marist St Pat's, uh, I think it's a lot similar. It's all about winning and having fun at the same time and, and yeah, you can't have more fun than coming, playing at a high level and, and winning games. Yeah, coming down from Hawke's Bay, I didn't really know anyone. And um, This is a really inclusive club which anyone can play for. There's a real good social atmosphere. But uh, they, they don't just uh, teach you about rugby skills, they teach you about life skills as well. Life after rugby, life during rugby, they, they care about you know what's going on in your life. An excellent uh, bunch of boys you know, to be alongside. So, uh, so yeah, I bleed red, so yeah, you should too.